Top 10 toxic A-listers that ruined their reputation. Number 10, Tom Cruise. Tom, star of many blockbuster films, lost all credibility when he began publicly campaigning for the Church of Scientology. His embarrassing behavior on an episode of Oprah has solidified his reputation as an idiot. He is most recently involved in a huge controversy over the COS removing a video of him from the internet, which has led to a cracking group anonymous to attack the organization. Cruz's behavior has led to a huge decrease in his fan base, leaving him with a very tarnished public image. Many people believe that Cruz is involvement with the Church of Scientology has been to blame for his eccentric behavior. Since his rise to fame in the mid-1980s, he has adopted an almost cult-like devotion to the organization and its teachings. His dedication is so strong that many are suspicious of his intentions and question why someone as successful as Cruz would devote himself to a controversial organization like the Church of Scientology. Cruz has been criticized for his unwavering loyalty to Scientology, but that hasn't stopped him from continuing to defend it publicly. His actions have damaged his reputation and earned him ridicule from many in the entertainment industry and beyond. Number 9, Britney Spears. Pop singer Britney Spears, who got her start on the new Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, destroyed all credibility when she began to appear in public with Paris Hilton. She has been caught numerous times on camera in various states of undress and drunkenness. She has been in and out of rehab centers. Possibly her lowest moment was when she broke up with her husband via text as he was in the middle of being filmed for much music. Nice one, Britney. Despite her personal troubles, Britney has managed to reemerge with a more mature sound and is continuing to make music. She's also been spotted on shows like The X Factor and Glee. Her loyal fan base continues to support her throughout all the stages of her career. Britney continues to tour and perform her hits around the world. With a new record out, let's see if Britney can come back and reclaim her throne as Queen of Pop. In recent years, Britney has proven she is not just another pop princess, but also an entrepreneur. She launched a lingerie line in 2019 and her own makeup line in collaboration with, KK, with KKW Beauty. She has also been getting involved in the fashion industry, appearing in campaigns for brands like Kenzo and joining forces with designer Karl Lagerfeld to produce a capsule collection. Number 8, George Michael. George Michael was successful with the band Wham! and later pursued a solo career. He had always kept his sexuality a secret until April 7, 1998 when he was arrested for engaging in a lewd act in a public toilet in a park in Beverly Hills, California. He has also had problems with drug he has also had problems with substance abuse, especially during 2006 when he was arrested for possession, as well as a series of substance related traffic incidents which led to the temporary loss of his license as well as community service. George Michael had an amazing career with multiple hits such as Careless Whisper, Faith and One More Try. He has sold over 80 million records worldwide, making him one of the best-selling musical artists of all time. After his passing in 2016, fans around the world mourned for the loss of such an iconic and talented artist. Despite his personal struggles, George Michael was an inspirational and talented musician who will never be forgotten. He will always live on in the hearts of his devoted fans and through his timeless music. His impact on popular music is undeniable as his influence can still be felt today in the work of many current top artists. Though he may have gone too soon, he left behind a legacy of amazing music that will last forever. In his honor, the George Michael Foundation was founded in order to promote global awareness of HIV slash AIDS as well as other causes dear to him. The foundation has already donated millions of dollars for various projects related to health and social welfare. Number 7, Michael Jackson, the king of pop seriously damaged his reputation after stating on national television that he shared his bed with young boys that visited. Having already been arrested on charges, which were dropped, this was a big mistake. He has since been hounded by the media and will probably never be viewed by the public in the same light as he was during his early career. Despite this, Michael Jackson's influence and legacy are still felt in the music industry. His iconic dance moves such as the moonwalk remain popular with performers of all genres today, while his singing continues to inspire singers of all styles. He was also a pioneer when it comes to breaking down racial barriers in the entertainment industry, giving many African American artists a platform to reach a mainstream audience. It's safe to say that Michael Jackson, for better or worse, will always be remembered as one of the greatest entertainers of all time. From a marketing perspective, Michael Jackson is still an incredibly valuable asset for any brand. His iconic image and music can help evoke certain emotions in a way that few other celebrities can match. 
His name alone carries a lot of weight. Brands looking to target a young audience should look no further than using Michael Jackson's music or likeness in their campaigns as it will certainly help them stand out from the crowd. His songs can also be used for promotional videos, giving brands an added layer of credibility and helping them connect with their target demographic on an emotional level. In short, Michael Jackson is still a powerful force in the music industry and can be an asset to any brand. Number 6. David Hasselhoff The star of Baywatch has recently been suffering with alcohol abuse and, in 2007, his daughter released a video of him drunkenly trying to eat a Wendy's burger whilst arguing with her onto the internet. The result was that Hasselhoff lost custody rights to his daughters temporarily and lost all respect. In 2006, he was refused access to a British Airways flight due to drunkenness through his publicist, though his publicist insisted that he was not drunk, but rather unwell from taking antibiotics. Yeah, right. Hasselhoff's career has been in decline ever since, and his once sexy image took a serious hit. Recently, he tried to make a comeback on the small screen with an appearance on Britain's Got Talent, but was laughed off stage by the audience after failing to impress them with his singing talents. After this setback, Hasselhoff has been seen out and about in London, attending parties with young aspiring models in an attempt to regain his image. He's also been involved in a number of tabloid scandals, such as when he was questioned by police for driving under the influence earlier. Hasselhoff's turbulent lifestyle is certainly not putting him back on the map where he belongs. Number 5. Pee Wee Herman Paul Rubens had a shining career as a children's television presenter until 1991 when he was arrested in Sarasota, Florida for public publicly doing some in an adult theater. The news media went into a frenzy and the scandal marked the near death of the character Pee Wee Herman, reducing both the actor and the persona to a ubiquitous punchline. Although the series Pee Wee's Playhouse had already ended by that time, CBS reacted by dropping its reruns from their lineup. Rubens was arrested again in 2002, but charges were dropped when he pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor obscenity charge. Obscenity. Rubens continued to appear in films and conduct voice and conduct voiceover work, but did not attempt a full-scale return as Pee Wee Herman until 2007. He starred in the Broadway production of The Pee Wee Herman Show, which ran for five months. Rubens also made several cameos in TV shows and films, including 30 Rock, Reno 9-11, and Smurfs 2, and Pee Wee's Big Holiday. In 2016, Netflix released the movie Pee Wee's Big Holiday, starring Rubens as Pee Wee Herman. In recent years, Rubens has embraced his role as a cultural icon by appearing at conventions and festivals. He also serves as an advocate for the arts, working with organizations like the National Endowment of the Arts and the Creative Coalition to promote creativity and encourage aspiring artists. Number 4, Boy George. The lead singer of Culture Club destroyed his singing career and caused his band to break up when he fell out with his lover, also a member of the band, John Moss, causing him to slide into a life of substance binges. He has since then been in and out of trouble and while his career as a DJ is successful, his reputation has tarnished sufficiently to prevent him from ever returning to the idol status of the early days of the group. Number 3, Kathleen Battle, one of the great operatic sopranos of our time, gained a reputation for being difficult. These difficulties and numerous complaints from fellow singers led to her being fired from the New York Metropolitan Opera. Since the dismissal from the Met, Kathleen Battle has not appeared in opera performances. However, she continues to appear in concerts and recitals as well as lending her voice to recordings and television appearances. Number 2, Jennifer Grey. Following the success of Dirty Dancing in 1987, the leading lady Jennifer Grey decided to get a nose job to improve her looks for her future career as an A-lister in Hollywood. Unfortunately, this changed her appearance so much that no one knew who she was. All of the celebrity goodwill she earned from Dirty Dancing was lost. Since then, she has only played minor roles in television programs and B-grade movies. In a recent interview for Channel 5 in the UK, Grey said the nose job was the biggest mistake of her life. She revealed the great lengths she went to in order to avoid being recognized, including using different hairstyles and even changing her name for a time. She said that it was hard to be taken seriously after her transformation as people assumed she just wanted to appear as someone else. Gray is now teaching acting classes and has become an advocate of self-acceptance regardless of physical appearance. She hopes to spread this message and use her platform to help others who have been through similar experiences. And finally, number one, Whitney Houston. After Houston married former R&B singer Bobby Brown at the height of her career, Rumors of substance and spousal abuse started to affect her career. Whilst no one could confirm the allegations, Houston confessed to using recreational substances during a TV interview and later underwent two drug rehab programs in 2005 and 2006. After a successful second program in 2006, Houston divorced Brown and gained custody of their only daughter. Although she was no longer with Brown, Houston continued to struggle with her addiction and the effects on her career. 
Her last studio album, I Look To You, dropped in 2009, but due to a world tour, movie soundtrack appearances, and television performances, her career remained strong. During this time, Whitney's health started to decline further, and the singer passed away on February 11, 2012, due to accidental drowning. With a career spanning over two decades, Houston was known as one of the greatest singers in modern history, having sold over 200 million records worldwide and won six Grammy Awards. Her legacy will continue to inspire generations of aspiring singers, and her music will never be forgotten. Whitney Houston is proof that talent can overcome any obstacle. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more news on your favorite celebrities. And I'll catch you next time on The Rich Life.